it's story time, fuckers. Well, I'm going to tell you guys about my house. My house is a trip. Why must I say that? Because uh, my grandpa died here and uh, my uncle died here. And he was a young guy. He was in his 20s, early 30s, I'm not sure. But I do remember my grandpa passing away. Uh, he had lung cancer. It's a trip. Uh, anyways, uh, this ghost is about, uh, this ghost, uh, this story is about some shit I seen not that long ago. It still trips me out this day, especially since I've been watching, uh, since I've been watching, uh, Supernatural more lately, and how they describe the fucking ghost to be and shit. It just trips me out. Like, the flickering lights, like, shit, like, getting tossed out of nowhere. Well, I remember one day, I was outside, it was like, it was night, it was just me and my grandma. And she could hardly hear or see anything. So I was by myself outside while she was watching TV. And uh, we have a sensor light. And the sensor light uh, is, it was brand new. I mean, shit. It's really good. Every time somebody steps anything, a cat, anything. Shit, that shit fucking turns on and it stays on. This time I was chilling outside and uh, I seen something white just run out my fucking house. And it looked like my neighbor because we live in a duplex. It looked like it was this girl. She's like 18. And it looked like she had a white hoodie on and she just like ran out. I hella tripped out. I even like went to the front like all because I was like on the porch. I walked up to the front of my house and I seen that my gate was closed. I was like, holy shit, how the fuck did that happen? And, uh, shit. The fucking sensor light just flickered. It turned off, it turned on and then it turned off right away. It, uh, it hella tripped me out because I was like, hold up, how the fuck is the gate open? The gate closed and the fucking sensor light didn't even turn on. Uh, I was I was like, oh, whatever, you know, maybe I'm tripping. Whatever, I fucking go inside my house and it's just me and my grandma in the living room. Mind you, it's nighttime, and uh, we're just chilling watching TV. And like I, like I, like I still remember, she had this clock right next to her uh, right next to the the living room it's in the hallway and uh that shit just goes flying like flying i i tripped out i was like holy shit how did that happen and then uh I told her, and I swear, every time I see something at this house, she's just like, no, you're tripping. I don't, there ain't nothing at this house. Nah, nah, with the whoop. And it gets me mad, like, to this day, because I, I mean, I hear a lot of shit. My mom's husband, like, seen shit before. My cousins have seen shit. We live right next to a church, and uh, this church is known for doing exorcisms. Uh, search it up. It's called uh, Universal Church. They fucking talk to demons, I guess. Like that's, I guess that's wrong. You can't do that. You just gotta exorcise them and let them go. They've came to our house a couple times to tell us to close our doors and windows because they were about to do an exorcism. Like, that's how crazy it is. You can search it up online. It's on YouTube, and I live right next to it. And, uh, 
I remember uh, my cousins telling me that they seen this uh, black figure just go inside the closet. They came out running out of the room because they were renting my room. They were renting out the room. And I do remember little stories my grandpa would tell me about seeing a little kid coming up to him, trying to talk to him. Like, I have seen some weird ass shit, but I, I mean, I can't really just say, you know, it's this and that. Like, I don't know, this house is pretty old. I remember this one time. I would like I would stay by myself with my grandma my grandma don't don't like to be alone so I would sleep in the living room on a couch and she would sleep with her door open by the living room and I remember her getting up to go to the bathroom and I turn around and I see a guy in a fucking tuxedo just chilling on her bed just smiling at me like I snapped out of it and like you know like, you know how you're barely sleepy? Well, you're barely waking up or something. So I snapped out of it. I didn't even tell her. I didn't want to creep her out. But, yeah, dude. My house is haunted. Like, as a kid, I always felt my house feeling heavy. Like, I didn't want to be there. It was weird. And I would walk into other people's houses and it would feel like nice and calm. Like I could sleep there. And at this house, I couldn't. I got another story. I remember being 10 years old. And uh, it was me, my mom, and my little brother. And my grandparents had just gone to Mexico. And... I don't know, it was hella weird. I just remember her holding us. It was in the middle of the night and she's holding us crying. Crying her eyes out, like like telling us like 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 she would flinch when she would hear something. I would I wasn't able to hear anything. I remember that. I couldn't hear anything. I just remember her like uh just scared out of her mind holding us she said that it sounded like a elephant was walking through the house and my uncle which was the young guy that he was like in his early 30s had just died uh, he I don't know from what they never like to say why but I do remember him looking familiarly like my uncle like completely like him I remember the day of his funeral that I was in second grade and they were gonna they were gonna bury him and I was gonna go but they made me go to school instead and yeah I guess my mom said that during the funeral in the afternoon she seen him in a black suit well he was dressed up just chilling in the kitchen and she was in the living room uh, not that long ago too we got new neighbors and uh when my cousin was here he had his wife had kids they were not his but his wife had kids and uh the little the neighbors had a daughter and it was this little girl and she would come and look for them she would she would come and look for them and uh this one time she walked into the room where my grandpa died, which is the one, the room I'm in right now. And she told my mom, like she came back out running. She told my mom, who died in that room? And she, my mom's all like, what? What are you talking about? She's all like, because I seen an old guy walk into the closet. Whoa. She, she has no idea who my grandpa was. Like, she don't know nothing. Like, she was, she was only, like, set, like, fuck, how can I say? She was only, like, nine, ten. And she just, like, said that, tripped us out. I still sleep in that room, and sometimes I feel like, like, I'm gonna see something, or, like, something's gonna happen, and nothing, nothing really happens. 
as a kid though, around that time where my mom was seeing shit, I do remember this one day. Very specifically, we we're going to, like it was around that time. I was kind of like tripping out, but not really, because I couldn't hear anything or see anything. But I do remember this day that uh, we're about to go to sleep and we're in the living room, not the living room, the kitchen. And we had a, like we, it would be me, my mom, my little brother, and we'd all sleep in one bed. We were all like, fuck, I was like fucking, like a second grader. Yeah, like a second grader. Not a first grader at all. And, uh, I remember this clearly because I had to take two steps to get on the bed. Which now I, I'm tall. I don't really, I don't really need that fucking two step shit. So anyways, uh, as I'm taking my first step, uh, there's a fucking foot dangling, which is mine. And I feel a hand just grab my foot from under the bed I was scared out my m no I wasn't scared cuz I kicked the shit out of it I kicked the shit out of it I remember just putting like sitting down so no, not, not sitting down step like getting off the bed putting my f two feet down like like trying to free it though free it from like you know my foot trying to free it from his hand and uh, um this shit just like, like I put my both feet down and my bad for stuttering so much. But this is like, I'm trying to play this game and say this story, which I've told a lot of people because it's so real to me. I put my feet down. I was so, I, I was, I didn't want to scare my mom. So I put both my feet down and I kicked the shit of whatever it was. It let go of my foot. I remember this so fucking clear like it was yesterday. Other than that, it's just like right when I wake up, I'll see something, which is a trip. Like, this one day, uh, I'm just like barely waking up and I'm in uh, the room my cousin, because my cousin slept in one room and that's, I guess, where my uncle died. And, uh, I sleep in the room where my grandpa died, and fucking, um, I just remember, like, waking up, I, just, I never take naps either, and I was, like, waking up from that, like, like, around four in the afternoon, because I went to sleep early, I don't know why, like, around noon, and I see a little kid just chilling right next to my bed. Like, just chilling, smiling at me. No, he wasn't smiling at me. He was kind of mugging me. And the next day, I, I don't know why I took a nap again. There I go. Rest in peace, me. I see two little kids, and one of them has a demon face. The other one is normal face, and they're just mugging me. I don't know. But I'm sorry if this sounded all, like, retarded. I was just so into the game right now. But these stories are a trip. If you're my friend, come spend the night. Probably see something. I'm pretty sure you will. If you listen to this shit all the way to the end, <laughs> you're the real one. You're a real one. And that's it, guys. I'll see you guys.